Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Ricky here from Ricky's Macintosh. Today I have a video that's going to be part of a series of videos on iOS 5. As you guys know, Apple did reveal that at WWDC 2011, and I just wanted to go over some of the cool features of iOS 5. This video is going to focus on Notification Center, the lock screen, and how it handles notifications, as well as in-app notifications. So stay tuned, guys. Okay guys, before we get started with Notification Center, we're going to have to go into Settings and tweak some of the options and customize it to the way we want it. So let's go ahead and click on Settings, then Notifications, and as you can see, you're presented with some of the options here. You can sort manually or you can sort by time. If you sort by time, it's going to put all your most recent notifications towards the top and then it'll just kind of filter down to all the older ones. If you sort them manually, let me show you what that does, you hit Edit here, and let's say you want your stock widget running at the top, you want the weather widget underneath that, and then maybe you want your text messages, your email, and then your phone. Um, you can have it in that order, and this is how it'll display on the lock screen. You can do this with all the apps that have notifications. I'm just showing you these five here. Once you're done, you hit done, and then let's go into mail here, and it'll show you some more specific uh, settings here for mail. You can turn notification center on or off for this app, you can show one, five, or ten of the most recent items. You can view in the lock screen, so this is obviously one of the really cool features of iOS 5 Notification Center. And now it gives us some options for how to display the notifications. You cannot have any display whatsoever. You can have the banner, and that's that little thing that comes across the top. Or you can go back to the old-fashioned dinosaur age of having alerts pop up and interrupt what you're doing. And you have to address those first, and then you can get back to your app. A lot of people won't probably pick that, but you know some people might not like change and they want to keep it the way it was. So uh, you have several options here that you can choose from. Once you have it all set up, we'll go ahead and hit the home button here. And now I'm going to send some test emails and just show you guys what it's all about. Uh, we'll go ahead and send one right now, and I'll show you what the banner looks like. So I just sent the email. It's going to be coming up on top of the screen there, and uh, there it is, an email from myself. And if you want, you can address that right now. Just go ahead and tap that mail icon on the top. It'll take you to the mail app. You can take care of what you need to as far as you know addressing that message. Or you can just let it go. And as you guys saw, it just kind of folds itself back up. It doesn't interrupt what you're doing. Uh, very non-discreet, so it's very cool. I really do appreciate that feature. Uh, now let's show you the lock screen here. So I'm going to lock the phone up, and we'll send another email. Okay, that email has just been sent, and now it's going to wake up the phone, and it'll show you on the lock screen that I have an email message. And there we go. Just got an email message again from myself, and you can address this from the lock screen. You don't have to slide to unlocked. Uh, let me go ahead and show you that now. You just take the mail icon, and you do a slide to unlock like that. And it takes you straight to the message. You can do whatever you need to do. Uh, just really cool, really simple way to address that message right there without having to unlock and go through several steps. Uh, let me go ahead and show you Notification Center itself. And now, in order to access this, you have to drag from the top and just drag straight down, and it'll show you all your notifications. So we go ahead and do that. And now you can see that I have manually set up my notifications. They're in the order that I had set up. Uh, you can see I got my stock ticker at the top. I have the weather. I have my messages, mail. If I had a phone call that I missed, it'd be there. Uh, as you can see, I have words with friends and notifications there. So it's just a really cool, really sleek design. I love the new Notification Center. Uh, when you guys get a chance to try it out, you're going to love it. I can guarantee it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I would appreciate it if you would rate this video, if you would comment, and especially if you would subscribe. I still have that 1,000 subscriber giveaway video going. It's running. I really want to get rid of those cases. So let's go ahead and get me some more subscribers. I can't wait. Um, again, this is all for you guys. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys like these videos. Uh, look, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the new notification center and uh, everything that's in iOS 5. This will be part of a series again, so make sure you stay tuned. This is just the notification center part, but we're going to go ahead and go through all the other features as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.